Hawaii is often called paradise for its lush natural beauty and aloha spirit. Visitors from all around the world travel to our idyllic shores. After a coup led by American businessmen overthrew the Hawaiian monarchy in 1893, it was later annexed by the United States in 1898 and became the 50th State of the Union on August 21, 1959. It was coveted by the United States since it is located 3,000 miles from the United States mainland and 4,000 miles from the shores of Japan. Since 1875, it has been a vital military outpost for the worldwide prophetic operations of this nation. And because of its strategic importance, her soil honors those that have fallen for this nation. Overlooking the skyline of the city of Honolulu and Oahu, the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific is the final resting place for those who gave their lives for the United States from wars fought in Asia and the Pacific. Located at an ancient volcano called Punch Bowl, the ancient Hawaiians saw this place sacred and called it the Hill of Sacrifice. Established in January 4, 1948, it was initially for those who gave their lives in the Pacific campaigns in World War II. Here rest soldiers from such legendary World War II battles in the Pacific, like the Battle of the Coral Sea, Midway, Leyte, Iwo Jima, Okinawa, and also those who gave their lives in the Korean and Vietnam Wars. An estimated 53,000 veterans and their dependents are buried in these hallowed grounds. In the main memorial hall is a corridor leading to the chapel with mural tributes of the various Pacific battles from World War II, the Korean War, and Vietnam War that are engraved on the walls. On the center of the main memorial hall is the statue of Lady Columbia, known as the female national personification of the United States. Here, the statue represents mothers grieving for their sons lost in war. The cemetery also is a site for various ceremonies to honor living and fallen veterans of the wars fought in the Pacific, where dignitaries, including former enemies and now allies, come to honor those who sacrificed much for nations to be free from tyranny. In seeing the serene, peaceful beauty of the solemn place, the cruel irony is that many who lie in rest here were in their final moments in the midst of the terrible noise of battle and carnage. Only now to be in a place where they are not conscious of the peaceful beauty of their final resting place. As the United States honors the heroic deeds of those that have fallen, so too God honors those that have fallen to their rest. The Bible says there's a book of remembrance that records every heroic deed of God's people. The Bible also says that precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of His saints. Although these heroes of faith are now sleeping in death in their graves, they leave behind a legacy of work that followed them that blessed many to this day. And because of the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony, these heroes have overcome the enemy in their lives. And as these heroes now sleep in death, they still have the blessed hope. Because in another hill of sacrifice called Calvary, Jesus paid the ultimate price for our sins and defeated death. And soon, Christ will return. And the Bible says He'll return with a shout with the voice of an archangel and the trump of God. And those that are sleeping in Him will resurrect from their graves, and the heroes of the great controversy will resurrect and live in paradise forever. Perhaps today, someone's reaching the end in their war in life, or someone's surrounded by the pain and despair of constant battles of this life and is tempted to give up their faith. But know this, Jesus overcame sin and death in the hill of sacrifice so that we can be saved. And because He overcame, 
He desires to give us the power to overcome so that we could spend forever with Him in sweet paradise. Will you not accept Him today and His invitation to join Him forever in the paradise of God?